In this video, we'll talk about printf in Java. Now, let's say I have this class called the Telsco, and in this we have a main function or main method. Let me print something. Uh, what I will print here is, let's say, to print something, we, need, we have to write system.out.println, which means it will print it will print on the output device of the system. Or this system is a class, and this out is an object, and this printer is a method, right? So let's say if I want to print hello world, so I will say it is hello world. So we need to use this uh, printer then, right? So if I run this code, uh -oh. okay, I need to just restart my NetBeans. Okay, so if I run this code, the output is the output. Okay, and the output is hello world, right? But let's say instead of printing hello world, I wanna I wanna take two variables. We'll say int i comma j, and I have to I have to save the addition of i and j in k. So what I can do is I can assign the value of i, again assign the value of j, and then we'll say k equal to i plus j. Now I want to print the result. So if I if I say k it will show the output as a number which is 9 right so 5 plus 4 is 9 but let's say I want to print in a, a particular format that means I want to print the addition is and then since it's a string from here to here it's a string and this is a variable so we need to say it's a plus sign now in print ln this plus sign means concatenation that means it will combine this the addition is with the value of k and the output will be the addition is 9. Right? But let's say I want to print in this format now. The addition of uh, 5 and 4 is 9. So in this scenario we have to say the addition of and then a plus symbol of i plus then again a text i and then again a plus j, then again a plus in double quotes is, we have to say plus k. So the addition of 5 and 6, or 5 and 4 will be 9. So if I run this code now, the output will be the addition of 5 and 4 is 9, right? But the problem is, when you want to print a particular format, uh, as you might be knowing in C programming, we use something called as printf. Now printf there is a print format. So we can even use print format here. Instead of using print ln, we can use print format. So how to use print format will say, or printf function will say printf. In printf, uh, I hope you are familiar with this C syntax in which you have to say the addition of, now instead of defining this variable i or giving this plus symbol, we can use something called as person d so the addition of person D and person D is person D. Now the first person D is I, the second one is J and third one is K. So we can use something called as printf to print a format. Now if you see here, if you go to this println function, now println is a void and printf is, it returns the object of print stream. Okay, so there's a difference between println and printf. So in Java, printf is supported. So normally people think we don't, we, we have printf only in C, uh, yeah, C programming, but printf is also there in Java programming. So that is for printf. So thanks for watching and do subscribe for the further videos.